investigation at this time, okay? Um, I'll have some brief remarks and then he'll take questions, okay? Is everybody set? Yeah, that, that is our understanding. That is how the uh, police uh, were able to uh, 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 And then I think the press conference well, I can't is about to start. Good evening, everybody, and thank you for being here. Thank you for your patience. Um, before I get started, I just want to once again extend my condolences uh, to the Oxford community, the school, the community. Uh, as a parent myself, uh, it's just uh, it's certainly a parent's worst nightmare. Um, I will provide you with limited information about what occurred this evening. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to thank the hardworking men and women of the Detroit Police Department who continue to provide this community with policing excellence. I could not be prouder uh, of them than I am right now in the work that they did this evening. Also want to thank our community. Uh, it was a tip that led us to this location uh, and allowed us to do our work. I can confirm for you this evening uh, that we have, or this morning, that we have taken into custody uh, James and Jennifer Crumbly. Uh, again, we have, in fact, taken into custody without incident, James and Jennifer Crumley, uh, the fugitives involved in the Oxford uh, incident. Uh, so with that, I'll take any questions. So yeah. What were they doing in this building? What's the connection? The connection, uh, they appeared to be hiding in the building. But how did they know to come here? That's, so the investigation is active. I'm um, going to respect uh, the Oakland County uh, Sheriff's Department investigation, so I'm going to provide just limited information. So, uh, but it does appear to talk armed, more about chief, the tips that armed. came in and what what they said. Wow. Just some more information on that. Yeah, we got a tip uh, that they were here uh, or that possibly uh, the, the, the fugitives were at this location. The vehicle was spotted. Uh, our officers responded in, in a matter of minutes. Uh, when they got here, they set up a perimeter, did surveillance. Uh, we notified and activated our Metro Division, our special response team. They came out. Uh, and they were able to uh, take the uh, fugitives into custody. So Chief they would, how did they know they were in this building? Was it was there something that told them they were in this building or? There was something that told them they were in the building. There was video that had uh, uh, one of the fugitives entering the building and we were confident that they were in the building. And Chief. when they entered the building, can you just describe where they were in the building and some of the interaction? It's a commercial building. Uh, they were hidden inside of one of the rooms in the building. And they were taken without incident? They didn't resist? They, they did were, not resist. They were taken into custody. They were Chief not armed. Both of them Sir. found in this building or just one of them and another one was found? In they were both area. taken into custody in this building. Did they, they say anything when they were taken into custody? They did. We're not going to get into that right now. I have to respect the, the fact that the Oakland County prosecutor has a lot of work to do on this case. also have to respect the fact that this is Oakland. Uh, were they Oakland armed? Sheriff's Department. Were they armed? Were they, armed? Chief? they were not armed. So, Chief, like, are they in DPD custody and then and they're going to be transferred to Oakland County right now? They were or? turned over to the Oakland County Sheriff's Department. Right now? Who were on the scene, yes. Chief, can you say what their, what their state of mind appeared to be or seemed to be? Were they distressed? Were they reliable? What, what was their state like? Well, they, they certainly appeared to be distressed, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, and um, you know, as I indicated, you know, they were in a commercial building in a room. Uh, we were able to take them into custody without incident, and but how, however, they were very distressed as they were walking out. Do you have any indication as to how this. long they were hiding out in this building? Any indication of how long they were here? They were here. Well, the officers arrived around 10 o'clock, 10 10 30. Uh, I don't know how long they were here prior to that. Chief, how much manpower went behind this this, this search right here? I know the U.S. Marshals, the FBI was also looking for them. Was it just DPD that, that found them a part of this? investigation search? So this portion of it, uh, there were other agencies that we contacted, and as I indicated, uh, the U.S. Marshals were here, uh, and also the Oakland County Sheriff's Department was here, and that's who we turned them over to. But regarding manpower, I mean, we, we've got a number of victims in Oxford. Uh, it, it takes as much manpower as it takes. Uh, I mean, personnel and resources to bring that family closure uh, is inconsequential for me. I mean, we, we were going to use as, as much uh, personnel as necessary to, to give the families in, in Oxford the closure that they need in this very, very tragic incident that really has touched not just this community, not just this state, uh, you know, but this country. I mean, we're, we're tired of this. I mean, this is awful. And is this an abandoned building? Or? It's not an abandoned building. It's a commercial uh, building, uh, and I believe uh, they do a lot of uh, art and art work in this building. Was were you surprised that they that were they... here? It just seems... Were you surprised that they weren't here? Certainly. I mean, I'm, I'm 
I'm, I'm surprised that they're here, but I'm not surprised at the work that the men and women of this department did to get them out, out of this building and in custody safely. So, very can happy you, with that. Can you talk about your officers? I mean, your officers have done so many amazing things recently, and this is just another thing that you guys are really doing. Uh, policing excellence. I could not be prouder. I say it every time. Uh, you know, I've been back as chief now six months, and, and they never fail to amaze me. The professionalism uh, that they exhibit on a day in and day out basis, policing excellence, and, and what they did here tonight is just a, 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 an example of that. Very, very. When proud. you say they were in distress, can, I, without getting into what they said, because I know you just can you just describe more of that? The crying was there. Some. What was the? What was going on? I mean, it, one of them, uh, you know, head down, you know, had a hoodie on, and just very upset. I mean, as you can imagine, I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to paint the picture, just very distressed in, in light of being taken into custody and hiding in this building. Any indication of that they were aided in getting into the building? Yes. That's the fact that they were aided, and we're looking into that portion of the investigation. That part is very active right now. Uh, our Metro Division has information that they're uh, sharing with uh, the U.S. Marshals and they'll be sharing with the Oakland County Sheriff's Department. What does that mean? Do you expect to be put there to be further charges? There's likely to be charges, uh, but again, we, we've got uh, two prosecutors now that's going to be involved in that part of it. We've got the Oakland County prosecutor as well as our own prosecutor, uh, Tim Worthy, in Wayne County. So they'll be working together. We'll be turning over that information. So when I you don't say, know who will be charging. When you say time. aided, did someone let them in? So they didn't break in. Someone they did not to, break in. So yeah. someone let them in. Yes. Yes. Any idea what relationship they had with the Crumblies, whoever let them in, or just... We don't know yet. We're unpacking all of that information right now, but that part is active, and we, we know who, who this person is. We know yeah. that's up there. The whole concept of... Oh, absolutely, they could be facing charges. Absolutely. Are the, the companies trying to escape to Canada? Charges in Wayne County? We're still looking into that, uh, very likely. But but again, uh, we're, we're turning over all that we have and, and all of the information that was going for tonight. Was there it's any reason to believe... We don't know, so... Was, yeah, come on. Was there any okay. reason to believe Thank that they, they were intending to turn themselves in, or do you guys believe they were fleeing? Well, this, this, I don't know, but this is an indicative of turning yourself in, hiding in a workplace, so I don't know. A couple more questions. Just the whole concept of see something, say something. How key is that here? See something, say something. Again, our community has been amazing, and, and thank you, community. Thank you for working with us, partnering with this police agency. There's been a number of cases recently that we could not have gotten where we are without our community. Tonight, again, our community came through for us, so thank you very much. So was someone else taken into custody besides the two? Just the two, two tonight. But the right. other thing is still ongoing. ongoing. Yes. A couple yes. more questions. But where they were hiding, Chief, was that owned by the person who let them in? Or who you believe let don't them know. in? Don't know. Don't know. Uh, we did speak with the owners of the building. I don't know if that particular space was owned or leased uh, by the person who let them in. All right, sir, one more. Is anyone else being questioned at this time actively or in any police custody? No one else is in custody uh, yet. Uh, but we are working an angle on one other person uh, that may have been uh, assisting us. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.